right in there. Let's look at the markets across the African continent, a bit of uh, some of the big markets across the continent. A very snapshot there, the South Africa uh, GSE was 1.22%. Uh, of course, you had the Nigerian market lost almost 2% in the week uh, we just finished. Uh, Egyptian uh, uh, market, the EGX30, that's the Thursday. Uh, Friday is always a public holiday in Egypt. The market, uh, oh, that's a year-to-date uh, index there. That's a massive one for the Egyptian market. Of course, in the second column, you can see all the uh, closing indices for uh, those uh, markets. The NSC there is the uh, Kenyan market. That's the Nairobi Securities Exchange. That's what the NSC there stands for. And, of course, the Ghana Stock Exchange Composite uh, Index reading 1,991.00. Back here at home. The National Conference of Nigeria's Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers was held on Tuesday in Abuja with market stakeholders and finance ministers and the legislature uh, in attendance. Uh, let's uh, uh, take a look at this report. Operators in the Nigerian capital market at a forum to assess their role towards rebuilding the economy. To set the tone for the day, organizers of the event say the meeting has become necessary in spite of some success in capital markets and the nation's economy generally. The changing climate in the global capital market has brought into fore the imperative of more cordial relationship between the federal government and regulators and also the operators in the capital market. May I seize this unique opportunity to call for more participation of top government officials in our functions for enhanced policy formulation and implementation on capital markets related issues. While statistics from the Nigerian capital market shows the All Share Index as at June 30th closed at 33,117, showing appreciation of 23%, government officials are of the opinion that more could still be done. Thank you very much. One of the areas they plan to intervene is through the introduction of new instruments in the stock markets. The Sukuk, which is going to be our next product that we will issue um, in, in, into the market, which will bring financial inclusion um, to, to a large number of our, our community who want to invest but have a, a moral and, and religious concern with the late nature of the instruments. And we must address them. The inclusiveness is part of what this government stands for. And then came a commitment by the members of the National Assembly. They will be assisting in the implementation of laws that will make the industry more viable. What we are assuring you is that the National Assembly will do its part to ensure that we internationalize the capital market of Nigeria that a time is coming, we do not need to go for euro bonds issuance or diaspora bonds issuance. We can issue them in Nigeria as other developed countries have done. As Nigerians look forward to the introduction of new instruments to the capital market, they're hoping this initiative, as well as others, will improve their lives. As well as uh, broaden the conversation around some of the issues thrown up at the CIS conference live here in the studios is the uh, president of the Chattered Institute of Stockbrokers, Luwashi Yabe. Good evening and nice to have you here. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. You said in your statement, and that was part of what we listened to, that you want government officials, more of them, to attend. But you got the finance minister, you got members of the National Assembly. What more do you want? Well, <laughs> um, this has not been the case in the past. But I must tell you, um, we have uh, people from every arm of government adequately represented this time around at the workshop. And it was a huge success. Um, the workshop was declared open by the acting president of the country, represented by the finance minister, Mrs. Kamiya Diosun. We have um, Senator Foster, the acting chairman of capital markets, and you know, in, in charge of capital markets at the Senate there. We have the Nigerian Investment Promotion Council. We have the Securities and Exchange Commission. We have Nigerian Stock Exchange. We have FMDQ. You know, I mean, we have all the operators in the market. So what else can we ask for? What else can you ask for? Yeah. So uh, now you've got to ask for everyone to be there, and they were there. Uh, in terms of what the key issues were for or the CIS? Well, you know, the theme of the workshop is um, moving the country as we beat um, recession forward. We need to discuss what is next for Nigeria. And um, having gone through all this, what we have said is that how do we move, how do we transform the economy 
from recession to global economic power. And so it took us to look at various things that we needed to do, I mean, that we need to do as a country. We looked at the issues of infrastructures, we looked at the issues of um, financing, we looked at the issues of capital raising by the telcos, we looked at the challenges and all those things. And most importantly, we looked at the capital market master plan, um, which was uh, the handwork of a committee set up by the government, you know, chaired by the Dr. Suleiman. Um, it's, it's, to, it's, it's meant to transform. It's, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a job that is done, you know, which is a process that will transform our entire capital market to the world class. Okay, so it was a huge success because we looked at all the aspects of the economy. But well, part of the uh, conversations there from the BPE side was that the government is planning to float. Uh, they float up to 20% of its uh, privatized uh, companies in the petrochemical sector uh, on the exchange. That looks, that looks like a very oily business. Oh, yes. Um, the BPE entered, you know, that um, plants are at their final stages, you know, to privatize those companies. Um, they have assessed the companies. The companies are now ready um, in terms of financials and performance, all right? And it's an exciting news you know, coming from the government, you know, because it will have a positive impact in the market. You know, the market is all waiting, and we can absorb that. One minute, uh, uh, one or two minutes, very quickly. The bill by the Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers at the National Assembly is about going to be passed. Bring us up to speed on this. Yeah. Um, you know, when you say you're a stockbroker, or you are CIS, people think you are talking about stockbroking alone, okay? So, the operators and as practitioners, we have looked at the bill and we see that the stockbroker not only deal in stocks and shares, there are other securities involved. And so the bill is to transform CIS to CC, Chartered Institute of Securities and Investment. All right? So the bill has allowed for um, different professionalism in all areas. All right? So you can be chartered in securities, you can be chartered in the fixed income, you can be chartered you know, in money market instruments, and even the people in the commodity market are, were, were, were taken care of. You know? So that is what the bill is about. We found out that, look, everybody needs to come under one umbrella. Okay? Again, it is part of what we have designed to keep the economy growing and to limit infractions in the market. All right? Because you notice that if a stockbroker commits an infraction as it were today, um, either SEC or the stock exchange, the platform provider, or the CIS will tackle the issues, right? But imagine, just like we have in other businesses, some people sitting behind computers somewhere that you cannot even account for their activities, okay? If those people commit infractions, it could be because you know, we won't be able to account on you know, discipline when that happens. So it's to bring discipline, professionalism, and efficiency into the market. That's very interesting. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on that uh, particular bill that transforms CIS into CISI. Yeah. Thank you very much. You do have a great weekend. Thank, Thank you, very you very much, much for coming so. on the program. Uluwasheyi Abe, who is the uh, president of the Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers. A brand new market week starts on Monday, July the 10th, and we expect June inflation data during the week from the statistics office as well as the quarterly and half-year earnings from the listed banks. So that will kick off in the new week, so we expect to see every one of you on the market back after the weekend. I am both Sinamafaya and we thank you for watching. Do have a great weekend, and it's goodbye from Lagos. Thank you.